HTC has just given us a glimpse of their new HTC Vive Cosmos. Now in that video that they have just published on Facebook, we see a redesigned HTC Vive Cosmos that now has six instead of four cameras for tracking. Now, for most of you, this might come as a surprise, but for those of you who follow me on Twitter, it's not a surprise because I have talked about this already yesterday. Now, how could I talk about this yesterday already? Well, I received rumors from a trusted industry insider. And in these rumors, I learned about these six cameras instead of four, but I also learned about the price and about the availability of the Vive Cosmos. And yesterday, I did not want to talk about these because I was not sure if these rumors are actually true. But now with Vive confirming that the Vive Cosmos is going to have six instead of four cameras, I believe the price and availability rumors are true as well. And I'm going to talk about them in this video. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, and if you appreciate independent reviews and reporting, then subscribe to this channel now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get into the rumor section, let's have a look at the video that HTC has just released. So this is the new redesigned HTC Vive Cosmos. First of all, what we see here, these are headphones and now they seem to come with the headset and well, they do remind us of the deluxe audio strap. Now, more importantly here, the faceplate has changed. Now we don't only have those two cameras that we'd seen there before, but we also have two additional cameras, one that's looking up and one that's looking down. Now that is actually the big news here of this video. But we also have some other things that we can learn from the video. Let's have a look here at the cable. Now, this doesn't seem to be USB-C, so no virtual link. And also, this doesn't really look like display port. So what we're looking at here is most probably like a proprietary connector that will go into a breakout box, just like the Vive Pro. Moreover, we learned that you can actually remove the face plates as you have just seen here, but we don't know yet why you would want to do so. <laughs> but if you do so, then the whole affair will look like this here. Other than that, we didn't really learn anything new about the HTC Vive. Of course, we still want to learn about the display that is being used. Also, we want to learn about the FOV and well, I'm going to talk a bit more about this later in this video. So now let me talk about the information that I had received from a trusted industry insider. First of all, I learned that the HTC Vive is going to have six instead of four cameras for tracking. And I talked about that rumor yesterday on my Twitter account. If you're not following me yet, do so at Mixed Reality TV. So what I wrote yesterday is this year. Rumors I heard from trusted industry insiders, HTC Vive Cosmos sporting six instead of four cameras for tracking. Trailer video seems to confirm this or why beams at number five and six. And well, then I posted this picture here. And well, I counted those beams here and well, yeah, five and six, there were beams coming out here and there. So this was already kind of hinting towards that and that is why I broke that yesterday. However, I did not talk about the information that I received concerning pricing and availability because I was simply not sure if these rumors could be true. But now with HTC Vive confirming the six cameras instead of four, I believe that these rumors are actually true and I'm going to break them to you now. So according to these rumors and still Take it with a grain of salt. The HTC Vive Cosmos is going to retail for $899. Wow. And it's going to be available starting from August for pre-order and the devices are going to be sent out end of August. 
The big news here, of course, being the price point at $899. If these rumors are true, and I actually do believe they are true, then this is quite expensive, especially considering that the HTC Vive Cosmos is going to directly compete against the Rift S, which only cost $399 and which is a really nice headset. So this is going to be a tough call. Now, why do I believe that the $899 price is true? Well, first of all, the industry insider that I got these information from, I trust this person. So I do believe this is true. Also, I simply could believe that HTC is going to find this price point since they cannot, like Oculus can, simply like subsidize the hardware in a way that would make the headset much cheaper. So they cannot really sell those devices at cost since they still need to earn money with these devices. For Oculus, they don't really need to do that. They have a complete platform play. They will make money out of their Oculus store. For HTC, of course, they also want to go into this direction, but it's still not there yet. So it's simply different kind of realities that HTC has to fight here against, against Oculus. So that's also why I believe that the $899 price point could be true. So probably they've been pricing it to still make profit and to still be cheaper than the full Valve Index set, which will come in at $1,000. Now, what about that redesign from four cameras to now six cameras? Actually, it makes perfect sense from a business standpoint. Think about the following. What if HTC would have had released the Vive Cosmos for $899 and it only had four cameras? Well, everyone would have said, hey, but how come the Rift S is half the price but has five cameras? Well, that would have been a disaster. So I believe in a last minute decision, HTC decided, hey, let's stick two cameras onto the device, even though probably with four cameras, the thing would have worked just as good. Probably not exactly as good, but probably still pretty good. So I believe also that's the reason of the delay, why the HTC Vive Cosmos is coming out so late. And that's also what the rumors confirm to me. Now, if the $899 rumor is true and it still could not be true, so please do take this with a grain of salt, then what would I think about the price? Well, I would think that this is a high price and it's going to be a tough call for HTC to compete against the Rift S at $399 and the Quest at $399 and even the high-end Index at $1,000 for the complete package. Now, they could probably redeem themselves if and if the displays are incredible. If these displays to turn out to be like 2K times 2K OLED and RGB stripe, then I would say, okay, probably $899 are okay. But if they are not, then still, I believe this is a tough call against the Rift S and all the other headsets that are on the market right now. In my opinion, if this price point is true, they did not learn from the HTC Vive Pro disaster as what the pricing is concerned. And in my opinion, they should regain the consumer trust and they should be bold and bring this out for a much cheaper price so they would push their platform, their Vivepod Infinity platform, because like this, I don't believe lots of people are going to check this out. Talking about the availability of the headset, I believe that the information I received to be true. And these information are that pre-orders are going to start early August and that the devices are being shipped out end of August. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Are the rumors true? And is the HTC Vive Cosmos going to cost $899? Please do leave your comments in the comment section below and also let me know if at $899 you would buy the headset or you would only buy it with what kind of display and what kind of FOV. I'm really, really looking forward to hear and to read your comments. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you found it informative. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. 
and click on the bell button so you don't miss any breaking news videos like this one. And now I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.